Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video we are going to interface Modbus RTV protocol with Raspberry Pi. So for this you need a Modbus device but we will be using a Modbus simulation software. So what we will do is we will put some values in the software and then we will try to get these values in the Raspberry Pi using Modbus RTV protocol. So let's get started. So first of all you need a Modbus device. The one which I am using is this one. This is a pretty common device and is available in all the electronic shops. So I have two of these. One I will connect to my Windows laptop where the simulation software is running and second I will plug into the Raspberry Pi. So now let's talk about the simulation software. The one which I am using is the Modbus Slave. Now this is, the, you can use any Modbus Slave softwares uh, which are available online, you can download them from the Google. All the, soft, all the softwares are pretty same, uh, the connections are same, the properties are same. So what I have done is now, I have connected a Modbus dongle in my laptop. The mode which we will be using is the RTU mode and these are all the properties and let's click this button, listen button. Now here you can set all the values you want to set in the registers of the Modbus. So, so let's for example we will be using this 300 register and let's say let's set the value of it to 500 and simply click apply. Now we will write a python code and we will try to get the value of this register using the Modbus RD protocol in Raspberry Pi. So I have also connected one of the uh, Modbus dongle in my Raspberry Pi. Let's go ahead and check where it is connected to. So for that you can do and this will list all the devices connected in your Pi and here you can see this is the port which our dongle has taken up. This is the TTY USB 0 port. So now we will write a simple python code to get all the values in our Raspberry Pi. So again I will be using the Eclipse. I have taken the remote connection uh, of my Raspberry Pi and I have created a simple modbus.py file. Before starting this you need you also need to install a python package which is pymodbus. I have already installed this. You need to install this before uh, going ahead with this video. So now let's start our coding. We need to import pymodbus package. So I have inputted a Modbus client. Next, I am importing an input register because we will be working with the input register. Okay, so after this, you need to create a new client, Modbus client, and there are a few parameters inside it. The one first one is the method. The method which we are going to use is RTU method. After this, you need to mention the port. So the port with which we are working is TTY USB zero. Stop bits let's say 1 byte size is 8 parity none baud rate which is the most important parameter let's set it to 9600 these are all the properties which we have set in our modbus slave simulation software and last let's set the timeout to be 0 0.3 after this let's connect to our client and let's print this connection 
if this connection returns true value that means our uh, connection has been successful if this returns false which means that there is some error in our connection now after this we need to simply read the values read the uh, value of the input registers and here we have we need to mention the register which we are going to use so we are going to use 300 register and let's say the size that is be 4 and here we need to mention the slave ID so slave ID we are using is 1 after this simply print the value okay okay so this is a very basic pretty simple example of how to use a Modbus RTE protocol so now let's go to the terminal and try to run this program and here we go so it shows true which means that our connection is successful and then it shows the value of the register now let's try to change the value to let's say thousand and see if it if it reflects the correct value or not so I'll again run the code and here we go so in this way you can simply write a simple very basic uh, Modbus exam Modbus code in Python in Raspberry Pi so I guess that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe and comment if you have any questions regarding this